In this video, we want to demonstrate a modeling and simulation of automatic headlight system. Here we can run simulation and we see automatically generated uh, sequence diagram showing the interaction of uh, independent uh, components working in the system, collaborating through interfaces, sending signals uh, and uh, here we see user interface. Uh, now we can switch this headlights on. We see headlights went on, switch off. We see headlights went off. I can go to full screen mode to see better. Right, and we see here switch. We see here controller. We see here ambient light sensor and we see here headlights. Now I will switch to automatic mode and that sends signal to the controller and controller switches to on state because that was the ambient light intensity. Now, if I will uh, uh, increase the intensity and will wait for three seconds, the ambient light, uh, the lights will switch to off. That was the requirement here. If I will decrease and wait again for three, two seconds, and the lights will switch to on. And we have a C sensor in user interface diagram. And again, I can switch uh, on. You see switch is in on. Controller knows that it's in on. It also has some properties about light uh, position in order to store that internally and uh, in on state and in off state uh, sensor is off. Only in auto state sensor is on and uh, in the regular uh, manner since the ambient light data. Now let's see what else is in the model and then let's see how the model simulation works. So let's uh, go back and let's stop the simulation. So first of all, I will start with the content diagram and will switch to full screen mode. As you can see here is new capability full screen mode, which allows to present uh, completely as if we are in PowerPoint uh, and uh, this capability will be end of the year available in 20 release, uh, which uh, early version you see here. So we have um, block diagram, which is uh, uh, representing the system model, automatic headlights system, ALH, uh, it includes controller with properties, light sensor, headlight and switch. Here we see the internal block diagram with uh, state machines demonstrating what are the states of each component, so switch and interfaces between components, switch states, uh, controller states, uh, headlight states, and uh, ambient light sensor states. As we can see here, uh, it is a, a completely modular structure. We could replace each component. Uh, also, we can see full uh, behavior here with the controller the most complicated uh, with the ability to switch to off on and auto state and auto state we have off on and states and waiting states to have uh, avoid uh, blinking based on requirements here we see requirements so those requirements are quite uh, uh, simple ones we have uh, off on and auto states uh, and still, even with that uh, simple requirements, we need to describe uh, a lot of uh, different scenarios here. For example, when we switch to auto at the beginning, uh, we switch to the auto mode uh, for the automatic headlights, which switch to the lights on if the ambient uh, light intensity is less than 70%. And that happens immediately. But if we are already in uh, auto mode, between on and off, we switch uh, based on the higher boundary and lower boundary of intensity. And only if that stays two or three seconds, depending on what we have here, light intensity less than the lower boundary for two seconds, we switch to the on mode. Three seconds, we switch to the off mode. And so on. Those are requirements we have here. We have also use cases. Uh, 
for the set headlines to auto mode, turn headlights on and off. If we are in auto mode, we have uh, uh, use cases to measure ambient light intensity, calculate target headlight state and uh, set target headlight state and few others. And we have a context diagram, which is uh, based on an internal block diagram. We have here driver, ambient light sensor, power system, which communicates with the system as automatic headlights uh, system. And we see what flows in and out. We see user commands goes in. We see the power system provides energy. And we see that um, ambient light sensor provides the information and uh, the turn on off command goes to the light sensor. Here we see simulation configurations, a couple of image switchers included in, in, in the side of the user interface diagram for the lights and for the signal uh, for the on off button. And also we have sequence diagram generator recording all the interactions. And configurator, which is actually more advanced here, includes more properties than in the latest available release. And here we see user interface diagram. Now uh, I will go uh, out of this uh, diagram. We'll go to the uh, internal block diagram and we'll run simulation. And we'll run simulation with another config, slow config. And here we'll see, you know, what's happening and investigate the behavior of the system. As you can see here, we see slowly flowing the information signals through the connector. That is actually a new capability again of 20 release, which will uh, be available um, um, with that release. And we see here that once the controller signal traveled here, it uh, went. Uh, uh, here and to carry the parameter with the value 0, 1, or 2. It, in this case, because it was on, it was uh, one parameter uh, value 1 and it switched to on state. In off case, it is, as you can see here, position is 0, so it end up in the off state. As you can see, also dimming available, only active elements are sharp, right? Again, uh, here we can switch uh, to on and we see signal traveling and then we uh, getting information from the signal. How that happens, you know, that uh, signal sent uh, gets that parameter value is actually using LH, Action Language Helper capability, which is available for many years. Actually, you can check on documentation. And it, uh, here you see it creates the signal by just by name, and then sets the value. You see signal, last signal, position property value here, and then send the signal signal uh, from self object uh, on this port. So signal is the short name for the signal, ac ac uh, actual signal, uh, active signal. And that's it. So we don't use activity, we use ALH to send. Uh, same here, we use ALH to get. So light switch position value property, get value, signal is the last signal, uh, active signal, and position is the property. We get the value, and based on that, we go to one another state. In the automatic mode, here we see automatic mode, we enable also the light sensor. As you can see here, once we enter here, we enable light sensor. And that sensor sends intensity. It repeats that at that frequency, right? And based on that, we switch to the state and that state triggers again the light position. Now here we see uh, a bit in more uh, advanced case, you see here that in, in on and off state, we need to get the information from light sensor, right? From the ambient light sensor, which travels here through this, uh, this um, port. But we don't want to leave the state because that is actually not convenient for us to leave this on state. We just want to stay in the state. So how to get that information? So this information is actually received using internal transition on the state. You see, if I double click, I get this internal transition, get sensor data, and on that signal, it executes this effect, which is just get the value from that uh, signal light intensity value and assign to this property. You can have unlimited number of internal transitions, which can easily 
represent the functions which are executed on that state based on some triggers. So this is a better way to have uh, functions allocated to states uh, than entry, do, or exit. Entry and exits are for short behaviors, for short assignment of properties, and uh, internal transitions and do are for the longer behaviors like uh, we see here. But do is limited to one unless you will create another activity inside or something like this. But like uh, internal transitions can be executed uh, on triggers like here we see signal event. And here I can play again, you know, switch intensity, light intensity down. And actually that will stay lights on switch light intensity up you see waiting for off for three seconds and then switch to off and then uh, you know light sensor is nothing special here then uh, this one is also nothing special just printing the in which state we are printing uh, headlights off printing headlights on now um, uh, what else we have here is ability to to customize the execution in more advanced way. So I will stop execution, we'll go to simulation configuration and we'll say, okay, in slow mode, I want to actually create a sequence diagram. And also, as you can see here, I want to uh, exclude the simulation panel or false. So it will not start the simulation panel on execution. Again, let's run this. And you see now I generate a sequence diagram automatically and I don't show simulation panel, right? So I will switch to on. I see what's happening. I switch to off. Again, I see what's happening with the timestamp. Nothing triggers the time uh, now because the state is not running of the controller. If I switch to auto mode, uh, that starts running the states and then I will have the uh, time going uh, here and uh, now we see that uh, between ambient light switch on and off um, uh, between uh, jumping and uh, going down I see this delay right okay you see waiting for on and then in two seconds we switch to on right and to, it takes more than uh, than two seconds here because now we are executing slowly. We want to understand the model. We want to track the path of the simulation, but that doesn't mean that we want to have correct the duration, right? So if we will go to the state machine, to the sequence diagram, we'll see that waiting on was uh, 37 seconds, 50 millisec 500 milliseconds, and then 59 seconds, 500 milliseconds to on, from that to that. So exactly two seconds, right? To off, it will be exactly three seconds. And I think I, I'm in wrong sequence diagram. This is the last one. Here we have off exactly three seconds and on waiting for on exactly two seconds. Again, off exactly three seconds. So this execution uh, flow uh, is saved to the model. You see here with data stamp. So here is the model. Auto of automatic headlights system, simplified model, uh, that's for sure, but uh, still following best practices and completely executable.